Jumi Opadare, a devout woman of God, wife, mother, and entrepreneur. A God-fearing woman who has devoted her time to ensuring that God's message is used to empower everyone, but most especially women. With a strong belief in the importance of women empowering women and educating each other through our life experiences, she is the founder of Women's Forum, Let's Be Real, a forum for women to work through issues and set and accomplish goals together. Held every second Friday of every month at 6 Elton Road, Lee Green, London. Keep up with Let's Be Real here on PRZFM every Tuesday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lesbian on PRZ Radio 109.2 FM. My name is Jumi Opedale, I'm your host. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you. On this show, we bring to you real life issues that affect our lives or things that we need to, or to address that has not been addressed. And we uh, always take into consideration whatever topic you want us to bring on here. And if you have any topic that you would like us to discuss, please don't forget that you can email it to us on lesbury at przfm.com. Lesbury at przfm.com. And we'll be able to discuss it. If you have any comments, any question, please don't forget that you can also email them to us. I'm so excited tonight. I'm so blessed. I'm so privileged to have in the studio with me my very own dad, Chief Ellie Ojedero. God bless you, sir. He's in the studio uh, with us today and he's going to share with us a wealth of experience that he has got. I know that it's by his grace that he is alive to share this with us. This is a special edition of Let's Build It. So, Daddy, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. <laughs> so, receiving me. <laughs> okay. No, now, the topic that we want to address is preparing for old age. And I believe that the best person to tell us is the person that has reached that old age. So he's going to dish out to us, out of his wealth of experience, what we have to do. And I believe that there's no time that is too late. Whatever he discuss with us to, uh, today, we can be able to tweak things around and do some other things that we need to do in preparation for old age. We thank God because it's only by his grace that we are living. Nobody knows when, what time and how. We are going to depart from this world, but it is better to plan not to have any plan at all. Thank you, Daddy, for coming in. So let's start from here. That I really appreciate you. I appreciate uh, Mommy as well that came along with you. And I thank you for stopping by, saying hello to us every now and then. Okay, Daddy, what age will you consider that is the right age to start to prepare for old age? Well, <coughs> thank you. I feel that uh, one should be prepared for for uh, prepare for age at the age of forties. Uh, okay, in forties. So, uh, w w what should happen before the age of forty? Maybe from what age should we be thinking? Well, at at least you, one must be thinking from twenty five for age of twenty five. Okay, preparing when you get good job. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have you have your own family, maybe mm -hmm. married, get mm -hmm. uh, your own uh, accommodation. Then, once you have good job, you must be prepare preparing for old age, okay. as of, of some, at least twenty five. So you are saying that we don't, it, you don't need to wait until forties nowadays. Mm. Once you start to immediately you settle, you have to uh, prepare for old age. Okay, now you are saying that between 25 to 40, we should prepare our lives and get a job, get yourself updated, get your family settled, get a roof over your head. And when all those are done, then you start to prepare for old age. Yeah. I, okay, I think I got you right today. Okay, thank you, Daddy. So what age is old age then? Uh, <laughs> old age should be from 60s. Okay. Being... Old age should be from 60s. Okay. So why why sixty? Uh, that uh, sixty is the uh, retirement age. Oh, right. So that if one starts from sixty, 
you mean you are starting from the retirement we were retirement age oh, fantastic 60 60 65 okay fantastic that is good so what if you've started planning from the age of 40 i believe that you would have got a concrete plan before 60 and now that even the retirement age has been shifted in some areas so they said 65 some 70 but it's good to start to plan from the age of 40s after you have settled yourself down so i believe that people that are listening to us i don't know what age you are if from the age of 25 you think you start to think ahead of time think about settling yourself down think about preparing for your old age okay now let's move on so daddy we are talking about preparing for old age what are the preparations what do you do in what areas do we prepare well to prepare for old age uh, should be in in stages okay i will say about say about four four stages mm -hmm. one should uh, what stages you should start a uh phys physical okay Physi B, spiritual yeah c financial okay and c and family and family so yeah. we should prepare in four areas yes uh f spiritual physical financial and family preparation yeah. okay what do we mean by the spiritual preparation uh you see a spiritual preparation is you have to get a church in your community mm -hmm. where you and your family will be at, will be serving your god and uh, take care of your uh, read your read your bible study study your bible and uh, attend a church church regularly to let to let them know that you are around and you, you 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 attach yourself as the family in that church so that your family will be attending and you'll be attending the same church so mm -hmm. you grow up by then okay not that when you are old you just jump into a church the where church. you are not known you have to be physically uh, uh, active yeah. in a particular church yeah. and if you have a uh, whatever place of worship that you go to you yeah. should be known there that's yeah. preparing for your whole day because yeah. i discovered these days that in some churches there are only old people <laughs> that are there maybe they've been going there since they were young so part of the spiritual preparation is to have a family church, church. or place of worship that you go and to study the word of god yeah. so that you can use them in your whole age yeah. when you can't read anymore or when the word of god needs to be coming alive in you so is a is a spiritual preparation is get yourself known mm -hmm. in a place, in of, place worship of worship and study the scriptures so yeah. that it can help you in time of yes, need yes. thank you daddy what about physical preparation uh physical preparation is uh say uh, you have to as a family you have to have a medical checkup every time mm -hmm. to keep fit and then uh, exercise okay regularly mm -hmm. so that uh, if you do this for health living you check your blood you, <coughs> you check your blood and then the family doctor will uh, will see to you the health of the family because of what we are eating nowadays series of things we are eating and uh, if we are not checking ourselves it will be it could be a, a problem in future okay so our physical preparation should be that we should have a family doctor mm. in health checkup every yearly or something like that so that it won't be when we are sick that we are looking for doctor yeah. and we should exercise regularly yeah. so health is, does not excuse us from not uh, wealth does not excuse us from exercising mm. that means even we, when we drive up and down we should find time to exercise our bodies yes. so that we can be fit yes, yes. and getting fit is part of healthy yeah, living, living as well yes, yes. oh fantastic thank you for uh saying that you know in terms of the medical care in the part of the world where we comes uh, we come from is like people don't want to spend money on their health yeah so people don't want to s spend money but what about taking an insurance health insurance is that advisable uh well it's it's necessary to take health insurance that will help too mm. because uh, health health is worth and if you do if you have health insurance you'll be assured that uh, 
whatever happens, they will take it up and be a help to, to the family. Thank you so much, Daddy. This is Let's Believe on PRZ Radio 109.2 FM. I'm here in the studio with my very own uh, dad, Chief Elio General, who is advising us on how to prepare for old age. And he has uh, spoken to us about when do we start to prepare for old age. Before our 40s, we should settle ourselves and then think about the future. And at the age of 60 is the beginning of old age. So whatever we want to do, we should make sure we work hard before the age of 60 and we start to take our rest and uh, enter into retirement. He also spoke about spiritual preparation, get known in a place of worship. It is not an ideal thing for you. After old age, you are pumping into this church, pumping into that church where they do not know you before. Especially when people die, they go and pay to bury them in one church where, where they are not known. And I'm sure all the, all the things that they will be saying will not be true about that particular person on that day. So it's better you get known in a particular place of worship. Yeah. Enough of up in here and there, going here and there. There's always uh, a, a benefit of sticking to one place of worship. God bless you as you are listening to us. He also talks about physical preparation, that we should get our health check. I remember when we were young that we always have that. Every year we always have a uh, general checkup so we know our blood group, we know our genotype, we know this, we know that, we know when to take the anti-malaria tablets, all those things uh, stayed with me. So it's an advice for us to prepare for old age. When our health is right from the beginning, it will take us longer by the special grace of God. Thank you so much, Daddy. What about the third one? You said four things you are going to share. Financial preparation, yes. which is very important. Yeah, financial preparation. When you are, when you get a good job, mm -hmm. whatever you earn, you must have a savings out of it, mm. and uh, maybe buy shares. Okay. Tracy bills. Mm -hmm. Buy properties at least for if if not for you to just to let out mm -hmm. to earn money. Uh, uh, you, you, life insurance too is uh, is necessary. Okay. And uh, if you have all this one, you save. This will assist you. Uh, the, uh, because retirement, a uh, 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 little amount of uh, 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 retired, a uh, little amount of money after retirement will not so be retirement sufficient. Retirement benefits. Yes, retirement <laughs> benefits. Will pension. Not be pension. <laughs> pension will not be sufficient. But if you save. You, you have buy shares, you have the treasury bills, you buy properties. Uh, all these uh, will assist you when you retire. Okay, thank you so much, Daddy. You said with savings is very important. Mm -hmm. If a uh, hundred pound is not enough for you, ninety pound will not be enough anyway. Yeah. So why not keep some of it as savings? So that you know that it's not yours. As we pay our tithes, we pay. This is my idea of saving. You pay a tithe of your income to God. You pay a tithe to yourself as well as your savings. So we also buy shares. I believe there are still, there are still some good shares there. Because I know that we say, oh, I sold a share. I sold this. I got some money, which is fantastic. The treasury bill as well is another, another good yes. thing. You said buying properties yeah. is also good because yeah, yeah, yeah. you will let it out and you just be managing it at your retirement extra income will come in for yeah. you yeah. because many people buy properties and they are not really foresee about what comes out of it now yeah. but later in future it will mean a lot to them yeah. so buying properties savings shares treasury bills and life insurance life insurance we've had a program on this show that we talked about life insurance which is very important we pay a huge uh, uh lump sum to your dependents after is preparing for old age and it might not even be a debt that you collect the money of life insurance it might be fixed for a particular uh, time and you get the money back if you want to know more about that you can go and check our soundcloud where we did our uh, money matter uh, part one we talked about insurance so please go and uh, go and listen to it and make sure you look for people around you who could advise you on the best option in terms of insurance so financial 
preparation is doing all these things one or combination of all yeah. and will be ready for old age yeah. and the fourth one daddy uh, the fourth one is family family preparation family preparation, uh, family preparation one needs to give, give sound education to the children mm. and keep the family together um, uh, home training is mm. necessary for the children and uh, ha build, uh, building a house where we, through loan or through mortgage or something like that is necessary where one can uh, settle down in future okay. as, a, as a home, a family home so all these things are necessary but the most important is make sure you train your children mm. to, uh, with sound education mm. moral uh, so that they can be useful in future hmm. and part of a uh, retirement benefit fantastic because i've heard people say that uh if you don't look after your children you are mortgaging your future so that is exactly what that is saying now that you need to train your children so that you can have peace in future they are your retirement benefits you need to keep your home make sure everybody is happy give your children home training lack of morals has destroyed the whole society and this can be taught at home they are part of your retirement benefits if you want to have peace in your old age you train your children well that's what daddy is saying now that you need to keep your home together you need to give your children home training you need to give them the resources that they need for their education so that you won't just be uh be doing your own thing and think in the future when they amount to nothing they will come and remember they will remember you or look after you it won't happen you have to sow the seed even before retirement you have to look after them and prepare for their education okay what do you want to say about the education of children why is this so important uh education is the basic of everything in life if you train if you train your children they can fit in in any organization and they can fit in in the in life they can move with a, a very important person in life but if they are half educated mm -hmm. you know they will be at the background hmm. but in order to keep your children in the, in the high level you have to give them sound education fantastic so education yeah. is really important it's more important so yeah. what you are saying is that you are not you are not you are supporting your children in whatsoever profession that they want to they want to go into and you should mm. not dictate to them mm. what to do okay uh, you have to leave you have to leave the, leave them to choose their profession profession and then support them financially mm. and see that they they are all right in their field provide fin finance provide uh, support them with uh, every and every thing they need mm. so that they can be well in life okay so that is the advice saying that we should not choose the profession of our children for them but we support them in whatever profession that they decide to 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 go into so knowing that our children want to choose one you know in those days some people we insist that my son must read medicine and that has confused many children oh must be a lawyer my father is not like that he didn't do that to us like i'm a living witness that whatever school fees is ready to pay any resources whatever list you bring to my father as long as they are needed he will provide for you and that w that stayed with every one of us and that is what he's saying now that we should support our children even if they want to read music and you know that they will do well there support them and let them know that their father is behind them he, he pays their school fees not that they are running around and uh, half the wood journey they cannot continue so let's prepare for our old age by training our children thank you daddy for that okay now let's talk about will because some people are so scared they're so scared about will they don't want to do it what do you think about having a will uh, having a will is very good and uh, having a will could, could, could be having a will could be uh, from 35. you don't need to wait till 40 50 before you prepare your will 
and you, when preparing a, a will, you should have a competent uh, lawyer to do it for you and have it sealed. Be because in future, if you don't have will, it could cause problem within your children. Mm -hmm. And uh, but if it is sealed, uh, whatever you give to children will be. Uh, Whatever you give to children will be uh, uh, properly, uh, properly, uh, properly uh, distributed by the, with, yeah. uh, mm. with law. Mm. It will be under the, the law. So mm. that uh, it's necessary to have a will. Okay. So we should not, you sh we should not be scared to write a will. Yeah. Because I remember, I remember and, that. And the will could be renewed every three or five years. So that uh, you don't leave it down. We may need to or update it definitely Just <laughs> as you acquire more <laughs> things you acquire or re re remove something there or you mo you need to update it every three or five years okay that's why i would tell people i say i know my father has been writing a will since i was in secondary school that yeah. was when i started being aware of it mm. that will doesn't kill yeah. writing a will does not kill people Please, let's change this attitude of, do you want to kill me? That's why you want me to write a will. A will, it, it does more good than harm. Please, let's do a will so that, apart from that, even the government will take some proportion of your good, of your things. Well, after you've gone, if you haven't got a will, they distribute it the way they like, not the way you like. So that is confirming that it's good to write a will. Write your will. Go to a, 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 a solicitor that can do it well, and that uh, and we said how early as early as you have anything. If you have a car, you can put it in your will. If you have a house, you can put it on your will. Without a will, I've seen many families are uh, scattered. They are disunited because of this sharing of the the things that their father or their mother left behind. So please, to put our house in order. That is saying that will is very, very important. I pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Now, let's go to your own personal experience. Can you share your own personal uh, preparation for your old age? Oh, my, my personal preparation is when I was, uh, th I started at the age of 35 mm -hmm. to, pre to, 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 to prepare for old age. For old age. Wow. Uh, first of all, I. I, I, when I, 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 with my, I have my children, my family settled, and uh, I, I said to my family, and I started savings, hmm. uh, buying shares, uh, 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 having a, a, a building of my own, and then try to. Uh, to to, uh, to to have a treasury bill mm -hmm. and then I, I i make sure that i save part of whatever i have so mm -hmm. that uh, it will be easier for me when i retire okay so, so you were thinking about old age from the beginning from the beginning fantastic mm -hmm. fantastic so you you started buying treasury bills mm -hmm. you started building houses mm -hmm. and you started uh uh I yeah, think you did insurance as well. I did, did life insurance too. Mm -hmm. I did life insurance so that, uh, and I, uh, before, uh, say, for, uh, I did 20 years life insurance. Okay. Which was due at the time of my retirement. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing this, your journey to uh, preparation for old age. I just, the, you know, this this particular program is so good because people, people, is it that lack of faith or lack of understanding yeah. that makes people not to prepare? Yeah. And it's good to prepare. It's just, it, it's just a living witness. Daddy, how old will you be very soon? I'll be 85. So, then somebody has been planning since 35 and it will be 85 this year. So, is it, it's what is it's, it's it, it planning for preparation for old age is something that any for one of anyone that is listening to us uh today should start to think and consider seriously because i think it, it works out well 
thank you for sharing. Okay, what do you do after retirement? Oh, after retirement, uh, you know, my wife used to be trading. He doesn't like staying at home. She's a handsome uh, woman. <laughs> he doesn't like staying. He likes to be no trading. No housewife. Immediately, I retired. I joined her, helping her on her trade. Because I cannot just sit down in the house. Mm -hmm. I joined her, helping her on her trade. It's, uh, and uh, not only that, I, I, jo I, I, I joined my church as an elder. Mm. And uh, as an elder, to be... I joined my church to, to, to as a, as a, 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 a volunteer, volunteer mm. workers mm -hmm. in the church. Mm. As an elder, I do the, uh, I, I do any work that uh, is uh, allotted to me by the assembly pastor, mm. and I have the time to read my, to, to, to study mm. my Bible, mm. to pray, mm. to have, to pray, and to attend as, as a member of a. Bible Society of Nigeria. Mm. I, I I have the time to attend meetings, and as an elder, I have the time to attend monthly meetings to decide on the how 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 the church is run. Mm. Not only that, I uh, I became member an audit uh, one of the uh, uh, member of the <laughs> auditors of the church mm. where we audit the account quarterly mm. to see that uh, everything is in order. Mm. And also, and also help the needies in the church, okay. so that uh, if 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 we, are, if we are not in the church, the members will know. <laughs> Anytime I <laughs> fail to attend church, they will know that uh, Papa is not around. Mm. He should be around because mm. of uh, activities mm. uh, activities I do in the church, mm. and uh, I thank God I have the enough time to study. Mm. I to, to study Bible, to pray to to, to my God, mm. and not only that, I do a lot of exercises mm. because I have ample chance to do exercises. You no, know, if one doesn't do that, you could you could you could, you could, you could not uh, be sound. You want, I want to remain LB. healthy, hmm. so I do that exercise. Not only that, I used to visit my uh, 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 retired retired colleagues. Mm -hmm. in their various places old friends <laughs> old friends in their various places at times for a day or two we chat we discuss we discuss together with them and not only that i used to visit my children at home and abroad just to see them to to see them to enjoy with them both in, in nigeria and abroad mm. because they are spread all over the world and i used to, used to spend time with them and I uh, really enjoy my going on uh, to my children and to my friends. Mm. So these are what I do most during my uh, now that I'm retired. Fantastic. Thank you. That's uh, everyone is looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the time I will be traveling, just traveling and visiting people, visiting my friends, visiting my children. <laughs> I thank God for the grace of God upon your life, Daddy. Amen. So, and also, it's very important if people volunteer their time in the church, it will reduce the burden, financial burden, even in church, because you will supervise the buildings when they are doing building work. You audit the account; they would have paid somebody to do that. Yeah. Not that the church is paying you; no, it's voluntary work. It's voluntary work. And sit in the board meeting so that things can be right. You know, when people are working, many people are so busy, so busy. We are saying we are busy, we are busy, we don't have time. But retirement age, you spend that time. Because if you are bored at home as well, can cause illness in the body. And I know that you have been very active. You wouldn't like to sit at home every day without doing anything. So to after retirement, we are advised to look for voluntary work. To, is that what you are saying, Daddy? Yes, that's yeah. what I'm saying. And not only that, too. You know, as a as a, as 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 a chief, I was conferred with a chieftaincy title in my hometown mm. uh, in, in, by my by my Oba, the Graf Bagura Abekuta, and uh, as a Balugun of uh, my community, where I share my experience with them. And I help them to develop my community. Mm. So after the summit, I have the opportunity of going down. Not only in social, mm. I, 
a member I'm a member of a, a Bagbara Improvement Association. Okay. A Lisa Bia Light Club. Wow. A bar social club. Ooh. So that all these things <laughs> I, I I used to attend and uh, free that give me freedom to go around about after retirement mm. so that I miss my people mm. and I do whatever I can do to help my people. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much. That's a great advice that you go, you go out, you get involved in your community, get involved with what is happening. You'll be fulfilled when you do such things. You see your children, you see your friends, you see the community, you see how you can input, you can add to the, uh, to add value to the things around you, to people around you. And thank God for this grace. God bless you, Daddy. Thank you so much for sharing all these uh this experience with us okay now what advice will you give people who are getting close to retirement <laughs> uh, well uh, i used to give advice to uh, people that they should from beginning try to uh, prepare for the old age okay and uh, to try to prepare for the old age mm -hmm. and by saving Okay. By having accounts, mm -hmm. by trading their children, because they are the they are the they they are the future future for the, for, the, for their future. Train mm -hmm. their children mm -hmm. and be honest in their the, the, the job. Honesty. Uh, honesty is necessary, mm -hmm. uh, and they, they should be 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 be. be uh, they, should, they should be, be honest. They should train their children. Mm -hmm. They should make sure that the families are intact. Okay. They should serve their God mm -hmm. uh, because serving God uh, is more important. Mm. So they and they should be uh, they should prepare they, they should prepare well for their old age. Okay. <coughs> so that is saying that in people uh, the advice for people that are getting uh, close to retirement is that make sure your children are okay you've supported them make sure you are honest in all your dealings because it will catch up with you make sure that you are uh, you whatever you do you do it properly you do it well so that you can enjoy your freedom when you retire those are the advice that daddy has uh given people that are getting close to to them okay now what else do you want to say to to our people listening to us uh, well when uh, i always i i as i always assist my house help and the entire and the entire family mm -hmm. to realize their Dream. educational pursuit mm. uh, it's a dream mm. and they are all successful in their various fields now. praise god mm. they all always give thanks to god mm. and to uh, those who listen mm. are now enjoying it now mm. those who listen among the people who have assisted are now realizing and uh, enjoying and uh, praising god mm. <clears throat> not only that when i was uh, working as a senior manager I used to I used to advise my uh, uh, managers under me mm. uh, how to how to be how to prepare for future. Okay. And those who listen are now enjoying it now. <laughs> those who listen and they are happy enjoying it now, because I don't want to see anybody who does not plan for future. Mm. And I always advise them if I visit them or on tour or in their sessions, the first thing is to ask of their welfare how they plan for future so that they cannot be left out of the future mm. and they all are happy and those who take took my to my advice are now enjoying and praising god for mm. that thank you so much as you are speaking i got a message for someone that says that saw the advert and said how he wish to be here to uh, to sup, to say something about uh dad about how he has been uh, a very good father a grandfather a mentor who has led many families to successful old age and he is saying that without your advice that he would have been homeless that is now enjoying his retirement because of the advice that you gave him 
And I got another message from another person that says that, oh, that is not just a father, but uh, a, a, a role model. That all the advice always come back to them and help them to achieve greatly in their in their in life. So there are so many messages that are supporting what you are saying that we um, have been getting since the advert came out this morning. Thank you so much. I want to ask you this question, this particular question. Do you feel fulfilled? Yes. Because I train my children who are now assisting me. I also uh, advise people on what to do in life. I don't I don't ask for bread for anywhere. <laughs> no and begging I feel for comfortable bread. Comfortable with my children, grandchildren and great grandchildren. So to the grace of God I feel fulfilled. Thank you so much. That you there's no nothing that you are planning to achieve at the moment. Nothing to <laughs> achieve at the moment mm -hmm. because I mm -hmm. I feel fulfilled. Thank God for that. Thank you so much for sh uh, sharing this with us. Thank you. And we, I believe that this is let's be real. I believe old age is real. If we, if God give us the grace and I believe God will give us grace even to uh, get to that, to that age that we need spiritual preparation, physical preparation, financial preparation and family preparation. For the sake of the ones that are not 40 yet, you have, a, you have all the time at your hand now to start to make plans. For the ones that have reached that age and they are in their 50s, it's not too late to start. Is, am I right, Daddy? Right, right, because right. we can still plan within 10 years before yes. we get to the retirement age. Yes. So we can still plan. That's what that is. There's no time that is too late for us. As long as you are still working, yes. you can make plans. We are talking about, we are, he also spoke about will, that will is good. Mm -hmm. Let me emphasize that will does not kill. Yeah. Many of us are shying away from it. We don't want to write it. But after something happened, the family is in chaos yeah. because that person has not got a will. Mm -hmm. Daddy has been writing a will since the age of 35. And thank God for the grace upon his life. Will does not kill. Okay, we also talked about his personal way of preparing and he has shared that with us and what he does after retirement volunteering is key yeah. getting closer to god yeah. is key and visiting friends and family getting involved in your community yeah. is very very important and that will be very very helpful for every one of us so please don't isolate yourself isolation can kill yeah. don't isolate yourself get yourself uh, around good people that will enhance your life Thank God for his life. He just shared that he feel fulfilled. He's not pursuing anything. Nothing is pursuing him. You are not owing anybody. <laughs> you are not, not owing anybody. He's not owing anybody. anybody owing me. And nobody is owing him. <laughs> so I believe that all the people that you have invested in their lives, they are saying thank you to you. Yes. And on behalf yes. of my of my siblings, I say thank you, Daddy, for everything that you have done for all of us. And also want to wish my sister. Uh, uh, for like me, happy birthday today is her birthday yeah. and mommy was telling all the stories about her birth yeah. thank God for all this grace yeah. is there any last word you want to tell our people before we finish uh, uh, well I have I, I, I wish to say thank God for this opportunity given to me <laughs> and uh, and uh, thank God for being able to purge myself with what, what, what I have to speak to people and mm. to my children mm. and this is an opportunity for one to train the children so that uh, you can reap the fruits of your labor mm. while you're alive mm. not waiting to the time when you die and uh, they begin to kick cows do <laughs> everything around but we are, we are now we are happy myself and my wife are very happy reaping the fruits of our labor all around our children great grandchildren and great grandchildren mm. I thank you all Thank you so much, Daddy. And I want to say a very massive thank you to Mommy as well. She's round the corner in the studio with us. God bless you, Mommy Chief. Thank you so thank much. You thank you, much. Daddy. Thank and you I want much. to say thank you to all our listeners today for this special ed edition of Let's Be Real on PRZ Radio 109.2 FM. God bless you. May, all, may God keep us all till old age and we'll be in good health in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Padare, a devout woman of God, wife, mother, and entrepreneur. A God-fearing woman who has devoted her time to ensuring that God's message is used to empower everyone, but most especially, women. With a strong belief in the importance of women empowering women and educating each other through our life experiences, she is the founder of Women's Forum, Let's Be Real, a forum for women to work through issues and set and accomplish goals together. Held every second Friday of every month at 6 Elton Road, Lee Green, London. Keep up with Let's Be Real here on PRZFM every Tuesday, 8pm to 9pm.